morning. Yo. All right. Rudiments 201. This is going to be the Connecticut Halftime Part 4. I hope I got that right because I did not look at it before I did this. So. <laughs> I, well, I hope it is because I'm going to do it anyway. If it's not right, that's okay. I don't have any drumsticks. There they are. How many? <clears throat> Alright, let's get through this and I'll tell you the story I'm going to tell you. Alright, we did the first part. I am looking at the music. Remember, we did one, we did two, we did three. I don't know what's happening here, but I think it's three. That, that. You know what? Time for a little modern technology. I don't remember if it was four. So, you know, instead of me going over to the computer and cutting it off, or not the computer, that thing, part three. Yep. Ha! How you like that? Okay, I had y'all wait on me. Finally, you're getting this for free anyway, so hush. Here we go. Uh, we're going to go through the next two, let's see, two, one, two, three phrases. Okay? And uh, I'll play it, and then I'll talk about it. Okay? I heard a little zippy zippy here on the end. Okay. What we're doing with this, first thing most of you will notice that are not new to it, but are looking to see who can play the Connecticut halftime are the roll parts, the very first in the beginning. I'm not doing 15 stroke rolls, which even on this music that I have here, it does say 15. The reason why I'm not doing that is because it's rudiments 201 and it's for people that are newer to this and it's much easier to do the 13 because it's going in time than it is a 15. Okay? So, uh, that's it with that, okay? Remember before what I said about the six tuplets. These, you don't rush them, keep them even, okay? All right? What's next, what's next? After that, we've got uh, what we've been doing. If you'll notice, even while I'm playing this, I said in the last video that I would accentuate, personally, the six tuplets uh, more on a larger or skin drum. But even here, while I'm playing this, I am naturally, I am noticing, I am naturally accentuating it a little more. And uh, I believe it's just my natural instincts musically to do that, that it's the end of a, a phrase or a, a stanza, as I heard today that I hadn't used in a long time. It, and it's sort of like the, a period, the end of a sentence. So like, hey, where are you going to? You know, it's not like, hey, where are you going to? You don't say it that way. You're like, hey, where are you going to? And, and then you go on to something else. It's sort of that sort of thing. I've said something, I'm saying something else, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying. All right, the next phrase after that, because you're supposed to be looking at some kind of music, because if you don't have it, well, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, let's see. This is going to be a part where you will tend to really rush. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Wow, nice. I remember when I did this, I would have a tendency to go... Yours are sounding like that. Timing-wise, it'll sort of end up correctly, but it's not correct at all. It's rushing 
the little the little phrases. And it, and you'll also be doing like a crescendo, okay? And it's supposed to sound more like this. If you take out the roll and, and the uh, the uh, the rough or or a drag, whatever you want to call it. It's the best way to practice that. Do one and then do the other, like a little two bar phrase, blah, 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 over and over. Uh, See how that works out? That's the best thing you can do to get that correct. Then when you're done, you can throw it all together. I'll play it a couple times together, and then I'll tell you my big story for the day. All right. story for the day. I got a drum lesson today. Yes, I did. Because I do that. So this cat that I get a drum lesson from, we have our drum lesson outdoors today. Because we live in two different areas and we don't know where each other lives and all that. So it's like, hey, I'll meet you at the park. Great. Let's do it. So we're doing it. We're having our little drum lesson thing. And we were smoozing along, and we were and uh, yeah, and we're going at it, and woo, on drum pad, okay? And at this park we we're at, there's like some homeless people right over here eating whatever and watching us because, of course, we're doing something completely abnormal. So, okay, we get done. Hey, see you later. Bye. Hey. Hey, how about a picture with the unknown drummer, I say? A picture with me. The answer was, I'll pass. What? Are you kidding me? I said, are you nuts? And he said, no, you're nuts. And I said, what do you mean I'm nuts? I'm not nuts. And he said, you want me to take a picture of you with a mask on. I'm like, so? What's wrong with that? He said, it's not Halloween. People don't wear masks. I said, well, you're stupid. And he said, well, you're crazy. And I said, I know. And he said, yeah, I know too. And I said, that's not fair. I already said I'm crazy. You can't say I'm crazy after I said you're crazy. you got to come up with something else. And he said, I'm leaving. And I said, well, I'm leaving too. And he said, I'm going that way. And I said, why are you going that way? Because I was curious. And he said, because you're going to go that way. And I said, oh, okay, fine. So then he left. Got in my car and I started thinking, wait a minute, he won't take a picture with me. One of the homeless guys will take a picture with me. Yeah. So I go back up to where we were. And guess what? I was like, um, excuse me, you remember the feller person I was with here, that cat? They're like, yeah. I'm like, he wouldn't take a picture with me. And I said, well, one of y'all take a picture with me? And he said, well, sure. 
So I put on my mask and stuff. And they said, what are you doing? Are you crazy? And I'm like, why are you asking me if I'm crazy? You're the one sitting here in the middle of nowhere eating something. And I'm like, we don't take pictures with people with masks. I'm like, well, he wouldn't take a picture with people with a mask either. How about five bucks? And they're like, oh, we love masks. So I got my old picture with the homeless man. <laughs> one way or another. Get my way. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I think the next time on the Connecticut and a Half Tone, we might be getting near the end. And then when we get near the total end, there'll be some other instruction as to where to go. So, y'all have fun. Remember, practice, and it's just drums. Appreciate it, guys. Bye.